Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another First Seed Friday video. First of all, this week we hit two milestones. Our first channel anniversary, as well as hitting 20,000 subscribers. So today I'd like to share something a little more personal. Today I'm going to share with you some of the changes that have happened in my life, as well as some of the experiences I've had because of the furry fandom. So let's get started! First and foremost, the fandom gave me a place where I felt like I belonged. Throughout high school, I always kind of drifted around various social groups. Sure, I had some close friends, but honestly I never really latched onto a broader group of people. I wasn't really into sports or school clubs or extracurricular activities. And then my first experience with anything that could be considered fandom related was anime. I liked it enough and I started attending conventions, but there was still that disconnect because I may or may not have something to talk about with someone in those circles depending on which anime we watched. Whereas with the furry fandom, everybody's all kind of in the same boat and we all at least had some common ground. With furry stuff, it was the first time I could confidently state that I truly belonged to a social group. Additionally, the fandom encouraged me to be creative. I explored all kinds of creative outlets while I was growing up, but I never really had anyone to share it with. After finding the furry community, I had all these people with similar creative avenues that I could exchange ideas with. Something felt great about being able to discuss the things I loved with other people that either appreciate or produce those things as well. Seriously, the fandom has a vast wealth of information for people of all kinds of creative types. Another thing the fandom helped me with immensely was coming out of my shell and letting me be myself. He says while wearing a costume. Goodness. I used to be incredibly shy and totally afraid to put myself out there. After making some friends in the fandom, I managed to really come into my own element. Like, I used to go to anime conventions and kind of wander around, meet up with some people I knew throughout the day, and I'd attend parties and get-togethers and whatnot, but pretty much kept to myself for the most part. My experience with furries, however, has been completely different. I've had several occasions at furry conventions where I'll meet people for like the first time and we'll just end up running around together for the whole weekend. Also, meetups were one of the first places where I regularly went to socialize when I first got into college. I was never really into going out to bars or clubs, so it was great to have a social setting that was more my pace. Speaking of socializing, the next thing I'm grateful for in this fandom is the people I've met. Like I mentioned earlier, the furry fandom was one of the first places where I managed to make friends when I graduated high school and first started attending college. So naturally, one of my absolute favorite parts of the fandom is the people within it. The population of the fandom spans all walks of life and manages to bring people together out of a simple love for a simple hobby, enough so to the point where people in this community sometimes manage to make it their living. Not only did it give me some of the greatest friends I've ever had, but it also gave me a loving partner that supports me like no other could. Which brings me to my final point for the day. This is a community where we support each other. Without getting too sappy or cheesy, the furry fandom has gotten me through some of the serious serious low points in my life, and I'm incredibly grateful for it. Not just that, but I'm always seeing people lifting each other up in this community, and it gives me a genuine source of hope when I see it. And to top it all off, we support artists on a scale that very few other communities manage to do. Not only digital artists, but crafters and designers and camera nerds like me. We help each other, and I'm so grateful for the people that do help, so that people like myself and other artists can work to support themselves in a community that appreciates their craft just as much as they do. So thanks for watching today's First Soup Friday video, everybody. I just wanted to take today as an opportunity to share some thoughts that are close to my heart, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like, feel free to share some good vibes in the comments down below. I do read every single comment, and I try to reply to as many as possible. And if you really like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below for new videos every week. Also, if you'd like to directly support the content that I produce on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box below. And speaking of patrons, I'd like to thank these lovely Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I'd like to thank these lovely patrons for sponsoring today's video. And I'd like to thank these lovely patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video.